Welcome to the PAC Football Report covering games on October 14th, 2023. I'm Joe Onderko. This week we will look back at Week 6 football games last Saturday in the President's Athletic Conference, while also previewing Week 7 gridiron action this coming weekend. Grove City remained in sole possession of first place in the PAC, as the number 23 ranked Wolverines improved to 6-0 with a 48-21 win at Geneva. Carnegie Mellon scored the second highest point total in school history, rolling past Teal 80-22. W&J and Case Western Reserves joined CMU a game back of Grove City, as the Presidents held off an Allegheny comeback effort to prevail 35-28, while Case pitched a 19-0 road shutout at St. Vincent. Finally, Westminster celebrated a 42-7 homecoming win over Bethany. Waynesburg had the weekend off. PAC Player of the Week laurels for Week 6 went to Allegheny senior wideout Declan O'Brien on offense, senior linebacker Thomas Corey of Carnegie Mellon on defense, and junior defensive back Sakai Simmons of w j on special teams. Earning PAC Newcomer of the Week recognition was CMU freshman wide receiver Brendan McCullough. Five games are on tap again in Week 7, with w j having a bye. 4 and one Case Western Reserve returns to DeSanto Field in Cleveland to face 3-2 and two Westminster for the Spartans' homecoming game at 2 p.m. Case leads the all-time series 4-2, having won the first four meetings from 2016-19, while the Titans have won the last two contests, including a 14-13 nail-biter in New Wilmington a year ago. Veteran Spartan head coach Greg Debelak previews the matchup. Westminster was missing a corner, their free safety got injured, so you could tell when those guys weren't in the game, they, they were different. So those guys are back, and it's the typical Westminster defense that we face for ever since we've rejoined the year. They're going to be physical. They're going to give you a lot of different looks. After breaking a seven-year home losing streak earlier this season, 2-4 and four Teal will try for its third home win in a row when the Tomcats host 1-4 and four Geneva at Alumni Stadium in Greenville at 1 p.m. The GTs have dominated the series, which began in 1899, with a 31-11-3 record and have won the last seven meetings, including a 57-20 final in 2022. Tomcat head coach Sam Bauman talks about preparing for the Golden Tornadoes. Like you said, it's it's a unique offense. It's a unique defense. Um, it's it's a fun team to play. They're going to be physical. They're going to be downhill. They're going to be aggressive. Um, we have to match that physicality. We have to uh, you know match their aggressiveness and attack them. Um, and you know I think it would be really it would feel really good for this football team to get this win and, and uh, get to the bye week with a little bit of momentum. Coming off its bye week, 0-5 Waynesburg looks for its first win of the campaign as the Yellow Jackets host 2-3 and St. Vincent at Wiley Stadium at 1 p.m. The all-time series between the programs dates back to 1929, with Waynesburg holding a 21-16-4 advantage against the Bearcats. However, St. Vincent has won the last four meetings, including a 53-16 final a year ago. Waynesburg head coach Cornelius Coleman notes that the bye week came at an opportune time for his program. Well, first and foremost, we needed to buy. Whether you need to recuperate from a health standpoint, whether or not you need to continuously grow, we needed that by, especially having such a young group of men, um, majority freshmen and sophomores, just to being able to explain and get into the, the understanding of schemes and, and just football 101 at this level. Other Week 7 matchups include 6-0 and Grove City traveling to Meadville to face 2-4 and Allegheny at Fuhrer Field at 4 p.m. It's the 72nd all-time meeting between the program since 1899. Last year, the Wolverines prevailed over the Gators 44-17. Allegheny last defeated Grove City by a 27-7 score in 1987. Finally, 5-1 Carnegie Mellon travels to face 0-5 Bethany at Bison Stadium with a 1 p.m. kickoff. CMU has dominated the series 38-8 all-time, including a 47-7 final in their last meeting two years ago. The last Bethany win over CMU was a 23-19 home victory in 2019. That's all for this edition of the PAC Football Report. Log on to the conference website at www.pacathletics.org all season long for the latest news, scores, statistics, and other league information. You can follow us on social media via Facebook, X formerly known as Twitter, and Instagram. Links are available at the PAC website. I'm Joe Onderko. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you at the stadium.